Kirito takes a look back at the FEMA camp. This probably was a place of, of hope. People thought that they could come here and they'd be safe. That's what they were told to do. And the government would cleanse this curse and everything would go back to normal, but wasn't the case. Lashin doesn't look as, as scared as, as he was before, but uh, still pretty nervous, still looking over his shoulders quite a bit. And for us, well, we have one problem here. Our headlights are dead. That's right. And it's dark. It's not too late. It's 9 o'clock, but with the dead headlights, I, I don't really want to drive home. We do have this light industry. I'm thinking there'll probably be some kind of a break room. And we can probably just hang out there till the morning. Then we can hit up this next FEMA camp. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. I'm Nico and I'll be your host as I try to tell you the tale of a young man named Hiro. In the last episode, we made it over here to this FEMA camp. We uh, had a near-death experience. Lashin almost got tossed, but we managed to survive. In the process, we finally got ourselves a gun that uses the, those stand egg mags that we've been collecting. Oh, it's it's kind of in rough shape, but it's still nice to have that. 556 is there's lots of ammo in this game, so, so that's kind of exciting. We we're gonna have to put a slain on it, and I think we're gonna carry it on us. But for now, for now, yeah, like I said, we're gonna go over to that um, light industry. We're still gonna drive there. As you can see, it's uh, pretty scary driving at night without headlights. Oh, we already hit a bush. Oof, that would be pretty scary. So, as we're parking, you know, the noise of the vehicle is definitely going to attract noise. And to hear a noise from the back, looks like a feral opened up our trunk and got in. Lashin, of course, who's been paranoid the whole time, just is like, yeah, and just stabs him. All right, let's stop driving. Ow. Let me at him, Shaw. So it looks like he killed the feral. There's another one. This mechanic. So let's just move. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that went pretty good. Oh. Ah. Uh. So normally we, we let uh, Lash and Tank these, but this time he's going to feel guilty and just charge at it. Yeah. So before he even gets to slash into it, the thing explodes. Uh. Okay, let's stop running. Oh yeah, that our strength just went down. That industrial ID card. Oh, that might come in handy. Let's, uh, let's wait a little bit. Hmm. Okay, so I had a control panel. Looks like another one got in there, too? Oh, that's kind of interesting. This is a zombie technician. I think we have a bow saw. Yeah, we do. Okay, well, we're taking that industrial card. I think we have had anything to drink while we're waiting. Not very hungry, just thirsty. Okay, th th this is odd. There's just a bunch of stuff here, but there's, there's no corpse. And it's filthy, so it's like somebody removed all that stuff from a zombie. When we get inside, I'm going to turn on the, the light. I just don't want to do it outside. Oh, shoot. Oh, I don't know. No, no. Push away. I'm not swapping positions. Nope, nope. <laughs> what that? I, I don't know. Saw some hazy smoke. Yeah, let's see if we can find another way in. Okay, so seeing the broken window, it doesn't look like it happened just now. I'm going to wait a little bit before we go in. Okay, I guess we're fine. Okay, so we're in some kind of an office space. The glow stick and the huffer puffer kind of gives me the impression that maybe somebody was trying to Hide out here. Is it, glow sticks aren't the kind of thing you would typically see in an office, I wouldn't think. Okay, and this is where we heard the 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 noise from that hazy smoke. Now, let's see on the map. Hmm. Okay, 
Okay, so we see two zombies in front of us. Normal zombies. Oof. Nothing we can't handle. Okay, let's use that glow stick. I think we're going to grab the Swiss Army knife, that kind of thing. You know, it's never going to not be handy. All right, and this glow stick, like, gives no light. <laughs> At all. That's a revolver. And I think we already have one of these. Mm, okay, well. Why would I not grab it? I guess it dropped off our cash cards. Uh, there's usually, like, wallets and stuff. Well, I'm sure we can find cash cards somewhere. There we go. Okay, books are always good. Clean. Oh. Okay, well, that does us no good. You know, it's funny about the cash cards. I remember, like, like when they first started doing that, it was kind of like... Why would they have, like, cards with your cash on it? That doesn't make any sense. And now everyone has tap on their card. Okay, we still haven't successfully managed to get one of those encrypted ones open. We're going to save the vending machines for last. But we'll, we'll get our computers up. No, yeah, this, this is what I was thinking about, like, for uh, resting for the night. We just got to clear this area out. So in here, maybe it was that smoke zombie. And if that's the case, well, we know how to deal with him. Oh, our visor's raised. Okay, well, we're going to take that off, and then we're going to... Yeah, I guess we dropped off the mask. <laughs> Might have got a little overzealous. But we do have this gas mask that we, we took. I don't know if we have to activate it. Must be prepared before use. Okay, so we've prepared it. <sighs> um, let's go. And there's that hazy cloud. Maybe the machines were left on? I assumed there was like some kind of a smoke zombie. Oh, okay. I don't think do you like unactivate it? Oh, I guess it's it just like that. Okay. Brick kiln. Designed for firing bricks. Okay. Um, I actually don't know if we have a clamp. There's a clamping quality. So what is an impact wrench? A high torque. Okay. Um yeah, okay, we'll grab that. Reciprocating saw. Okay, three metal saw in quality. Okay, just gonna move that out of the way as we get to our last one. Angle grinder, didn't we? There was a whole thing about that before, wasn't there? I kind of feel like we already have one, but I'm not 100% sure. A welding tank would be good if there was a welder. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're gonna take that off. Um, I've been leaving the sunglasses on just because I'm kind of lazy, but we don't really need to put it on. Let's lower our helmet, though. And so we have cleared that one, but, I mean, it's still pretty early for us. I think we're just going to go across the street. Clear that out, and then we'll take a nap. I imagine it's going to be identical to the one we just came from. Oh, we got our devices to five. Okay, brazing rods. I... This is for welding. Welding wire. Also for welding. Welding seems kind of complicated. Vacuum molder. I think we had to make one of those. Jackhammer. We have a few of those. Leading hacksaw. Screwdriver and a paint chipper. Uh, I think that's all that there's going to be for tools. It's a little disappointing. I was really hoping we'd find like a settling torch or a welder or... This is a fat zombie. We, of course, would have no idea what killed him. Whoa! Shoot! A giant wasp guard. Holy crap. Shoot. A wasp worker grown to the size of a person buzzing around her home where her foraging sisters were relatively content to live and let live. This one won't hesitate to attack anything she considers a threat to the nest. 
Don't linger. You can see us, of course, it can, and it's much faster than us. If we can run. Oh no, Lashin's going for it. Oh! So as we put away our katana, it just charges right at us on our left arm. Fortunately, we managed to block some of it with our armor. Lashin swings and misses. It, it got two hits on us in that time that we moved. It couldn't get through the second one, but they did manage to hit our left arm. Okay, as long as we can hit it, so like a regular aim, we're taking the shot. And hopefully we're tanking. We only have three bullets, so we, we can't afford to miss. Do I get greedy? No, take the shot. The Lashin's been trying to, sh to stab at this thing, but this thing, despite being the size of a person, is so fast. We managed to get a good shot, though, and it retracts its stinger. Looks like it's not trying to run away. Lashin still can't hit it, but yeah, it's definitely focused on us. I mean, it sees us as the threat. We're the only thing that's damaged it so far. I wish we don't have bullets for it. Well, Lashin's a little beat up, but I don't think from that. Yeah, I know we're really hot right now because of the temperature. Okay, well, first we're going to stop running. Let's take out our katana. Well, there's the mystery of what killed uh, that zombie. I want to butcher it. I don't want to dissect it. I mean, we did just fire a bloody, you know, 454 castle. So let's, um, what is this? Safe. Let's just make sure that there's nothing here. Yeah, our inventory is full. Sometimes we end up with, like, silly things that we don't need to have on us. No, not quite. Well, we can drop some stuff off and come back. And I guess this is the outside, so... Yeah. That's it for both of these places. I don't think we have the stethoscope on us, do we? Oh, doesn't look like it. Okay, I'm just going to drop this stuff off and come back. Okay, so I just found out that I can dissect the pulped corpses. In my mind, you wouldn't be able to do that because, I mean, they're pulped. But I just went up 3% by dissecting a zombie. So since we're not tired, I'm going to just go around dissecting zombies until we get tired. So see you guys in a moment. All right, and I'm back can see here in proficiencies we have the principles of biology understood we're beginning to gain a general idea of various living beings functions and i thought i was going to dissect the rest of the guys here since it's i thought it was a relatively safe spot but um yeah so i'm guessing that wasn't just a, a lone wasp that came in we did actually kill another one it was a little guy so i, I didn't think it was really worth watching I guess it just exploded when it died, because I don't see a corpse. There's the blood. In any case, I'm just going to load whatever tools we can get from out of here. It's just the stuff in, in here, I guess. Pretty sure we have a vacuum holder, but I'm just going to grab it just in case. And we'll drag that hard plating out of here. Oh, nothing worth uh, fighting for. So I don't want to take apart this stuff because I don't want to deal with, with those wasps, right? We are going to disassemble some stuff in the one to the north. And since that took all day, we didn't actually do anything at night. I was going to do some reading. I thought, oh, we got these books. Looks like we can get survival to three. Hmm, that's actually... Or to six. That, that's not bad. I don't know what that would really get us, but uh, that's, that's not bad at all. Pretty sure I already grabbed a concrete mixer. And we're also going to take that the welding tank. Okay, I don't know if we need a hydraulic press, but I think we're going to take it with us. The other stuff we just disassemble. And I mean, it doesn't take much effort, and I feel like that stuff comes in handy. So yeah, I'm just going to take some time to do that. I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, so as we're dragging the stuff over, this wasp has come at us. It's about the size of a cat, it says. We're going to bravely hide behind Lashin. Pull out our katana. And we're still wearing our backpack on. We do manage to get a hit. 15 damage is all we did. On its leg. Yeah, we really didn't do much damage on that guy. Yeah, I want to dissect it. Okay, we're just going to have a snack before we go. Healthy snack of cookies. Wash it down with some, something to drink. Something nice. Lemonade. And let's get out of here.
We should probably do something about the headlight problem. We don't normally travel at night, but it kind of suck. We got stuck there. Yeah, I kind of want to just go around. Oh, we could have grabbed that. We can come back for that. I don't want to go around just by dissecting things now. And I feel like I, I did you guys all a dirty because that is a very like hero thing to do. My professional opinion. We are a little weary though. I think we're just going to hang out here for a little bit. Maybe we'll read that book for a bit. Okay, so we're at light weariness. I don't want to lose the whole daylight and have the exact same problem that happened. We actually haven't slept, day. Eh? I did take an energy drink. But we want to hit up that other FEMA camp before we uh, go back to our hut. Hopefully there's no wasps in the area. Okay, so up ahead we can already see them. Okay, first let's put on the sunglasses. Next, we're going to take off our backpack. Okay, and there's another thing that I think we, we've learned from this. It's actually really hard to damage those guys with our katana. As loyal as we are to our katana, we have to think smart. And Barbara Montante is meant for exactly this. So there is a, a pang of, of regret, like, as he puts away his katana and wields that trusty fire axe. As soon as those zombie soldiers are done, we'll put it away. Looks like they're slowly coming to us. Okay, these guys are heavily armored. Swinging back the fire axe, we aim at its head. We still miss, I guess because it's been a while since we've used this thing. Lashin, of course, knows what he's doing. Another miss. We finally managed to sweep this thing on the ground. As it hits the ground, its head explodes. The helmet was uh, not handy. Where Slashin's being grabbed, we're going to swap. So as we pull Ashen aside, we tank a hit. Our right leg is now bleeding, but we're okay. Every time we've done something like that, Lashin kind of rolls his eyes. But this time he just gives a nod. Stop that bleeding. Oh, no. We're... It's not a Barbara Montante weapon. It looks like they see us, but they, they can't get through the gate. Of course, now the fence holds. When we needed it to, it didn't. I mean, they'll eventually get through. And they're making more noise. Was it just attracting more of them? But that's okay. You know how it is, too. Where we think, oh, we'll just ignore these guys. And focus on these ones. As soon as we do that, they're going to get through. And then we're going to deal with them. And then we'll be like another Hulk or something like that. Oh, no. What if there is another Hulk? Yeah. Okay, well, we're near a vehicle. Close the trunk just in case. Do you get through finally? Oh, yeah, they did. Okay. Good, we're ready. Yeah, just perfect teamwork. One stabs, the other slashes. They're not quite like Gimli and Legolas, but there is a bit of a friendly competition going on here. Lashing getting a little too eager, just trying to charge in there. Oh, I guess that was it. I did see that, that zombie soldier up there. So we're grabbing the fire axe. We'll try to get his attention. I don't know, that was his, like, the 80s street tough comes at us. Hate those things. I don't think these things are heavily armored. We managed to do a lot of damage to it uh, before with the katana. Two zombies lumber towards him. A slash across the face. Stab in the chest. Dead. I want that zombie soldier's attention and then we'll go back. Goodness, this guy. Must have been looking in the opposite direction every time. <laughs> okay. He's coming at us. Okay, so with that guy cleared, uh, we're able to pull out our katana again. Which, it's still a pretty new weapon for us, but he's a bit comforted by the the feel of it. I think maybe we could use the terrain for our benefit, but it doesn't look like there's anything around us that can help. So, yeah, we're just going to have to fight it the old-fashioned way. Well, that's a good start. We got a crit, and we managed to block all the damage. Lashing missed completely. I'm trying to break out of this grab. Lashing got two critical hits in a row on this guy. There's something about the health that's not really showing up properly on this thing, because it keeps saying that it's full health. And then, uh, oh, there we go. 
Yeah, that, that guy went down like nothing with his pink blood. Ugh. Yeah, we're definitely going to dissect like everything here. I don't remember how many soldiers we saw before. I thought there was like four. Oh, shoot this guy. Good. <laughs> we're good. He always drags us. Creeps me out. You know, I'll be honest, I haven't been checking our stamina at all, and it looks like uh, it's okay. Okay, then. That's a mountable machine gun. I think that... No, no, we have a 308. This fire's 556? Five, yeah. Got two of them. Okay, and it's got one belt pouch. I don't know what that... Okay, so 100. The belt pouch, you put the ammo belt, and it's got 100 rounds on it. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that <laughs> that is exciting. Um, I think that'd be good to put on our car. I know we already have the 308, but we're going to run out of bullets for that. This one's a little faster. So that's a really good find. We'll come back for that, though. Uh, we don't have our backpack on us. Let's just clear this up before we really start looting. I just got excited. No idea if it's going to be a similar format to the other one. I imagine so. Woo. Okay, well, it turns back and looks at Lash and gives a nod. Yeah, he didn't even see that kid. In their boxes. Doesn't look like they have anything there. Sinister cloak. Oh yeah, it's like a vampire thing. I feel like he would have a cape. So I kind of like that, but it's warm. Oh, uh, no, it's only thin warm. Kirpan. Ceremonial dagger carried by Sikh men. I hope I pronounced that right. It doesn't actually look like it does much damage. I think we'll take it, though. We just don't have our backpack. We're just looting. Uh, I got a bad feeling about this, guys. I want to go get our backpack. Okay, I brought our car back closer, too. I don't know. Just remember we saw those brutes in the cage and the Hulk got out. We figured that it came out from the cage. Just had a thought, like, a lot of sand. I'll take your canned corn. It'll make us feel better. And we have like all our guns in here and stuff, so... 11... 7 round mag. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I knew we were gonna get boomered. It looks like they, they actually had a hard time getting through that. I thought they were just gonna rip through it. We're closing that again. Let's get our uh, fire axe out. We'll get into our Barbara Montante stance. Because, yeah, with Lashin's piercing and Barbara Montante, we just make short work of that. Didn't have gone in like that. I didn't know there was a third one. We took some damage, but but we're doing okay. And what we're looking for are rifles and ammo. MRE pouches are always good. Sappy plates. There we go. I mean, it's in the same condition as the other one, M4A1, but uh, no, that that's great. That's great, and it fits in our bag. Okay, well, that, that makes it a little bit better than the other one, right? Pipe cleaner oh, for cleaning with firearms. Okay, mm, it looks like they, they destroyed their beds. Okay, well, we'll come back and loot that all later. Yeah, same thing as before. I guess they, they were studying them. Oh, God. How did they... They got another zombie Hulk in this cage. And he sees us, and he's hostile. He's going to break through that. We don't have much time. We got to run. Hey. No, there's no way out of there. Okay, well, looking. Oh God, it got through. Yeah, I want to run to the car, and then we we could turn the turret on and blast this thing to hell. I think we'll make it to the car, but Lashin won't. 
don't know if I can tell Lashin to run faster. I don't think I can. I mean, we got that 10 rounds of 5.56. Five, I don't think it's going to kill it. It took three bursts of uh, that. I think we got to get to the car. Hulk, it went back in and then went out through the wall. Goodness. Okay, so Hero gets inside the car. He starts it up. Uh, we're going to move a little closer to Lashin. Now we can get in. Okay. I like to think it's like a little computer that like he pushes it and maybe it auto moves to the targets. Like, I don't think he's got like a joystick or anything moving around. But yeah, it, it kind of like senses movement and just mo moves to it and that way you can push the button, which he does. Washington's bleeding? We're just going to back off. Why is Lashin losing so much blood? Oh, it's not even bleeding. I thought it would just bleed to death. Let's just stop driving for a second. What the hell is going on here? Your tor- Why is he heavy bleeding in the torso? Is it the turret that's shooting him? Okay, so he kind of stops the car and looks over and Lashin's just offing up blood and he's like what the hell so he tries to put the bandage on but uh yeah that was uh the thing caught up to us it wasn't even bleeding but one last shot at it it dies i, I guess the bullet holes go through it but it, it doesn't cause any bleeding either way we got all our first aid stuff here okay so we got all the bandages that we could get we reduced the bleeding, but it's still bleeding. So I imagine that was like in the shoulder or something. I don't know. That, that I, I'm, th I'm thinking it was actually from the turret, but then Lashin will be dead, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, maybe it was the angle or something, but I think that's a little ridiculous, personally. He's inside the vehicle. Still has minor bleeding. They said it was stopped. Okay, so 80 out of 115 isn't bad. That was just weird. Weird, weird, weird. Jeez, this one was a priest? Three hours, wow. For giant humanoids, zombie biology. Yeah, we we definitely gotta do this. I wish we, we need something with better fine cutting. I mean be something we try to make when we get back to the base, but um I wanna try this. Well at least we got nine percent for that. So yeah, that's two for two. One zombie Hulk and one brute. This time we physically saw it, so maybe maybe it wasn't aggravated and that's why it didn't turn. But then it saw us and it got angry. Very strange. How did they get it in the cage is what Hero is wondering. Okay, I'm going to keep using the axe because it's a Super Saiyan zombie there. And at least we can hit it without, you know, getting tossed. See that we're bleeding, but we got to ignore this. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Hell is this guy a Batwing zombie? I think we saw this before as we were driving. Okay, well, we killed the Super Saiyan zombie. Um, That's enough for me. Acidic zombie dog. I already hate it. Where are all these things coming from? Maybe it's over here. Yeah, I guess that, that's what it is. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, maybe we can use that acid to our benefit. Here we go. Okay, well, the bleeding stopped on us anyway. Okay, so to be honest... 
my logic for coming here, I was thinking maybe we can kill these things through the gate. See if Lashin can. Doesn't look like he can. Unga side. We uh we might grab that. Alright, a clean suit. Desk fan. Let's take that with us. I don't know if we can actually set that up. Well, I guess we can't. We're full. We'll come back for it. Septic. Use of bandages. Set the scope, which we have on us. Which gives us the possibility of we can go back for that safe. I was just thinking about that. An aesthetic. Um, th that actually can come in handy too. What the hell? Neo Fabricator template for an environmental combat helmet? State of the art optical storage system. The small slate of transparent glass holds inscribed as a miniature pattern. The instructions required to create an item through a nano fabricator. Huh. Okay. I guess it's like, it looks like some kind of a plans for like a, a helmet of some kind. But, like, for something that we, we don't have, there we go, we don't have access to. I wish there was a way that it, it showed you, like, what's new on the map. Like, I, I don't know where that activated. That it activated and... Did it show me this? Like, did it show me this? <laughs> I don't... I have no idea. Anyway, it doesn't look like Lashin wants to attack them through the, the wall, and I don't know even know if we can, so I guess we'll just leave it. An awful lot of bathrooms here. But yeah, the smell would be overwhelming. I mean, we already saw this thing earlier. There'd be no reason that Hero would, would want to look at it again. Well, nothing juicy here either. This looks like people's clothes and stuff, whatever they didn't manage to get on them on time. Okay, well, I guess that's it. I really want to dissect all these guys. I think the Batwing one will be worth it. Yeah, because we get key creatures of flight from it too. So we're going to do that. Now we're finally tired. Okay, so the R2, I I don't see a reason why not to grab both. Hmm. So we don't have biochemistry, so there's no real benefit to doing that. But it goes a little faster. I don't even know how we get biochemistry. I'm going to do it. And it's getting dark. Also, we are tired. I mean, there's no shortage of beds here. You know what I think I'm going to do? I don't want to quite go to bed yet because it's a little early. I'm just going to haul over a couple corpses into that room and we're going to hold it there for the night. All right. So it's 11 o'clock at night. We're tired. We've been doing this all day. We haven't got any new proficiencies, but I think we're going to try to go to sleep. I guess we're so tired we managed to fall asleep pretty easily. We're feeling great, all considered. I um, forgot to bandage yourself up, though. <laughs> Okay, and we, we're just going to do the last zombie soldier. Synthetic. Armors. Hmm, okay, that's good. So we can find weak points in the guys that are wearing armor. That's good. Zombie biology, we're almost there too. You know what? Since we're almost there, I'm just going to spend the rest of the day doing this before we go home. Okay, so we're now proficient in the principles of zombie biology. So I guess that gives us better chance of critical hit. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to make it a point to do more dissecting. I really thought we had to get to it before it pulped. Okay, and so we have discovered that there is a way around here that we can cross this bridge. We'll pass this drive-in theater and we can come here. Gets us there pretty quick. Now, I know we have this path already here. But I kind of want to see what's over there. Maybe that'll help us decide what we're doing next. Oh, okay, one more for the road. It's 
especially important with these like unique zombies. No, no, nothing. Yeah, well, we're carrying on. Do those whites have anything special about them? Nope, nothing. We do have those soldiers, though. Okay, let's cut up these zombie soldiers for the synthetic armor proficiency, and then we'll carry on. Elks were pretty scary. There's no denying that. I mean, that one in particular took quite a few rounds to put down. On that note, does it tell us how many bullets we have left? 32 bullets left. That's a few rounds, but uh, that, that's not going to last forever. I guess those are zombies that those wasps killed that we didn't pulp. Maybe they were close to the, the wasps themselves. The nest. But either way, I mean, we got those. We now two, have two 5.56 rifles. They are in a little rough shape. I think as long as we don't try to use it as a melee weapon, it's not going to take further damage. But I would like to kind of repair them before we get going uh, before we try to use them huh. okay so we went up and over I wonder if that lets us see anything In the east and below you hear a huge explosion what the frick did we just walk into there's a slime pit. What is this? Barbed wire. Oh, it's like a, a checkpoint? This is a wall, and this is some kind of a slime pit. What are we hearing from here? It's explosion. Minefield. Ugh. Okay. And there's these slimes. We haven't seen this before. It says a black blob of vicus goo oozing across the ground like a glob of living oil. Well, I see that stanic mag, and I'm greedy enough to see maybe there's some some more rifles here. But we're not going to drive in there. These things are hostile, it says, and looks like most of them are in the water. I guess it's a pit like their hut. I don't think they can get to us. A slime is hit with a bomb fragment. SD memory card. I'm going to go for that. I guess they're finding the mines for us. So they must have mined this area to prevent people from coming through. So, I mean, we're definitely not going to be driving through that. Looks like there's just the three mags there. Joel Goth, what the hell is that? What the hell? A gargantuan protoplasmic blob constantly reshaping and forming new pseudopods seemingly at will. All over its body are eyes that form and disappear. The rapid and chaotic way it reconstitutes itself gives the impression of it boiling over with some kind of primordial fury. It doesn't see us. This is that they're hostile, but they can't see us. So maybe we have to be right beside them. Yeah, and the Shogoth doesn't see us. Hmm. Maybe that's for devices. Oh, it looks like we already have that. I really want that SD card. I also don't really want to get close to those guys. And these just looks like empty round or empty mags. It doesn't look like I, I, I'll check one of them. Yeah, they're all empty. Pretty sure we have enough of these things. Okay, let's. Whoa. <laughs> okay, the slimes are definitely finding the mines for us. Asha <laughs> looks kind of confused. Oh, he's scared. Hey, dude, get in the car. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's a good lad. And then we gotta close that door. What the hell is... What? I'm not entirely sure if we're going...
Okay. <laughs> I got scared. I'm like, well, what if they like glitch out and we go in the the river? Um. Small cabin. What what is up ahead here? Bookstore. Uh, look like on the outskirts of the town. Well, that might be worth checking out. I mean, at least we don't need to come back this way because we, we you know, we got the shortcut. But I was kind of looking forward to exploring new lands, but not that badly. Dragon. Oh, I thought I said dragon dragonflies. Giant dragonflies. There's a cabin up ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we know from the map that there's somebody there. Oh, geez, there's not actually a road to that town. I mean, there, there's this forest trail, but I don't really want to go this way. Nor in here, so we're... I mean, it, it's not that far. We, we could make it on foot. And this looks like a pretty small town, so... It wouldn't take much to get to get to that bookstore. Like, not much at all. But aside from that bookstore, it doesn't seem like there's really anything else here. The bookstore alone makes it worth it, though. But anyway. So, yeah, the map shows that there's somebody here. I feel like that just being here, we get the impression that somebody's living here. So we are going to stop the car. And Lashin's like, Wait, Sha? You really think this is a good idea? We can't give up hope that everyone is crazy. I mean, you're good and I'm good. So others will be too, right? Okay, you say so. Well, I really hate to leave you all on a cliffhanger, but this is where we're gonna have to call it for the night. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're all still having fun. I certainly am. And we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good night.